word to the wise, don't stay there. Um, so we'll actually show the video up in the gymnasium, which is amazingly cool. History of the rescue movement here in Milwaukee, which is Come on. laughable to bring something down to 23 minutes. And there's literally thousands and thousands of hours just from this city, not to mention the rescue movement across the nation. But we've done our best to deliver to you who know nothing about the rescue movement in brief video form what the rescue movement was about here in our city. And so we'll show you that video tomorrow at 1 p.m. in the gymnasium over there at Christian Grace Christian Academy. And um, it should be a good thing. Amen. Amen. Yeah. After the video is shown, we will go out to 86th and Brown Deer, which is where one of the death camps um, that is shut down is still there. We will actually gather right on the grounds, and um, we will have a word of prayer, and we also um, have several stories from uh, people who were actually rescuers. We got arrested and tell some of the stories that took place not only here in Milwaukee, but other places. It'll only be from about 2 o'clock to 3.30 or 3.15 that we do that. After that, people will either go and do overpasses, yeah, yeah, under the awesome leadership of Cal Zastro. We will be on 13 overpasses, every major, uh, freeway in the city will be hit because they're coming home from rush hour traffic on 13 overpasses. They can't in both directions. It'll be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Which are all set up there. That will be our staging site when we're done at the closed down death camp there on Brown Deer Road. And um, Or you can become part of the lid dropping teams. The team that will be going out. There'll be teams going out. Or you can go relax, you know, so you have a lot of kids, you can be out all morning or whatever, so don't burn yourself out. And don't feel guilty if you have to take an afternoon off or an evening off or something like that. There's a lot going on, make as much as you can, be a part of as much as you can, but um, don't feel guilty if you miss something because, yeah, you're getting older or the kids are getting cranky or whatever. <laughs> Tomorrow night, we won't be having a rally. They actually have this building used for someone else. We'll be meeting two blocks from here. If you go two blocks that way, you'll notice a grassy park called Wisconsin Avenue Park. Awesome play area for the kids. We're bringing in all kinds of food. It is free, free food. And it'll be a time of fellowship. Come on. And I haven't been over there to check out the mosquitoes yet, but I did plan on stopping there afterwards and we'll let you know if you need bug spray and we might buy a few bottles of that. But as far as I know, the mosquitoes aren't really bad in the city. You gotta get further out for that. So without further ado, I want to introduce someone tonight. He's probably, if not the most organized person I've ever met, he's one of the most organized people I've ever met. And when I met him, I fell in love with the guy right away because I saw here's a man who loves Christ and loves application of his Christian faith. Amen. And that means a lot to me. I saw that he understood that true Christianity is iconoclastic, that it changes nations, it topples the idols of the culture of the nation, that it brings honor to Christ, that the governments of men are to honor Christ. Come on. Come on. Massively important. He's also one of the three teachers at the youth training that will be going on this morning, tomorrow morning, and the next morning. And some of you young people, I want to tell you, keep going forward. Yep. Make the next two. You might be like, I don't know about all that gobbly book, you know, some of that apologetic stuff. Listen, it's like reading when you're young. It's like reading the first two chapters of one of Paul's epistles. It's like... Okay, whatever he just said. You just want to, like, what? Get to the do's and the don'ts, right? But then, as you get a little older, you realize, you know, I really can't do the do's and the don'ts if I don't understand that first two chapters of theological gobbledygook. And so, you must come. There's massively important, great application that these men are going to continue to make over the next two days 
from the foundation that they laid to you this morning. So please make those classes from 9 to 12 tomorrow morning and the following morning. And without further ado, I want to introduce to you John Mishner, and you can call him the Mish. Give him a warm welcome. Does anybody know what an ado is? Because we're never furthering it when I come up. So, but I'm gonna stand over here by you. Is this okay? Is this okay? Who's experienced life? And here I thought I was in a snow globe. I didn't know the corruption that was around me. You know, my mom and dad stayed married. Most of the, the kids in my church had a mom and dad at home. It was a very different time. Part of that is because I grew up at a military base. So you're talking, you know, blacks and whites and Hispanics and Koreans are going to the